Welcome, this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com with your Monday Tarot message from the Muse for the week of November 16th. Okay, lovely theme for the week. This is the star, Major Arcana card. Uh, you can see the crumpled, burnt uh, remains of the tower here. That's the card that comes before the star. And here's the star above, sprinkling stardust and light, illumination and healing on the tower. So the star, your theme this week, is to look for inspiration, that feeling that sparkles and tingles under your skin and along the back of your neck and tells you this idea is wonderful and magical and I want to get to it. And be the star, shine and illuminate the shadows. Your focus this week is where am I most at home in my creativity? We, here we have cups. Cups is the element of water in the realm of emotions, feelings, dreams, and intuitions, creativity. And we have the dog and the cat here um, with the sign of Mars, the sign of Pisces. Mars is very active. Pisces is very intuitive and very emotive. And so it, you know, bringing those two together like the cat and dog can be somewhat difficult, somewhat challenging. But they are sitting in front of the fire. They're content. They're warm. So where are you most at home with your creativity? Where does the inner and outer battles cease when you do your work. Aha, speaking of battles, and the action is the Five of Swords. Swords is the element of air in the realm of mind, thoughts, attitudes, beliefs, and communication. And you can see the, this um, ancient warrior here standing with a sword in hand. He's collected four other swords. He's, well, he's got one over here and three others hanging from his belt. It's kind of like he's prepared to do battle. Just bring it on. There's shields here, burnt fires, and barren landscape in the background. So, you know, this week, your action is to pick your mental battles. Your, and your communication battles. Um, you know, you, we get caught up in social media and get worked up by the emotions and the attitudes and the beliefs of others there. This week, you know, let's really think about where do we want to communicate, how do we want to communicate, and where does that energy need to go? Does it need to go into our stories and our work or dealing with people on social media? And then finally, another five, these challenging fives. That's the gift. Doesn't look like a gift, but it is a gift. It's the Five of Cups. Again, in the realm of uh, heart, feelings, emotions, dreams, intuitions, and creativity. You can see that she's sitting here with her back against the wall. She has three broken cups in front of her. She's holding one in each hand. Um, and this is a, where we get into that place of feeling rejected. We've had dis creative disappointments or create certain creative projects haven't worked out. We've got these two other ideas, these creative um, dreams that we've got. And do we dare get up and move forward? Well, the gift this week is that you have to. Let's work with the two and you get them maybe they need to work together maybe they're separate projects but there's an opportunity still to create so look for the gift of those creative uh, projects and that have heart and meaning for you so as we look at the story for the week it's not an easy week by any means but we started off with remembering that along the way keep our eyes out for the opportunity for the inspiration, to be inspired, um, to really shine with our creative work and inspire others as well as be inspired. And that's where the healing is, is in the creativity. And then look at where are we most at home in our creative work? Where are you most at home? Where does the emotional battles cease and we get to rest comfortably before the fire because we need to pick our battles carefully this week. We can't let ourselves get caught up in other people's ideas and attitudes and beliefs. We need to do our own work. And then finally, we need to put aside our fears and our disappointments and look for the gift of opportunities, new creative dreams and projects. And this is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DividingTheMuse.com, wishing you divine musings.